Oh, you have daddy issues? Come right in. Do my pimp mobile. This is a 1998 MGF. This particular even has a VVC engine, which stands for Variable Valve Control. It produces 143 horsepower with a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of just 8 seconds. For all of you who don't have a clue as to what MG is, here is a little history lesson. The MGF and the later MGTF are mid-engine rear-wheel drive roadster cars that were produced by MG from 1995 until 2005 and by MG Motor from 2007 until 2011. The MGF was the first car to bear the MG mark since the MGB that was produced from 1962 to 1980. The production of the MGTF passed in 2005 when MG Rover went into receivership and resumed in 2007 under the company's new owners Nanjing of China. Now that you know what MG is, let me give you some background on this F model. This is the Mark I F model. It was launched in the Northern Hemisphere of Autumn of 1995 by the Rover Group, making it the third car to be launched since the takeover by BMW. It was powered by a 1.8 liter K-series 16 valve engine, the basic having 118 HP, while the more powerful VVC had 143 HP. Although popular across Rover's model range when fitted to the MGF, the K-series engine was plagued by head gasket failure, often attributed to the more complex nature of cooling a mid-engine car. Rover did little to address this, with owners frequently having to meet the cost of expensive repairs themselves early in the life of their vehicles. Rover's special projects oversaw the development of F's design and before, reali uh, and before finalizing the styling, bought in outside contractors to determine the most appropriate mechanical configuration for the new car. Now let's talk driving. The car handles like a dream, being mid-engined, as I said. It is very stable and responsive. The clutch is very hard, like everyone else who will see riding in this pimp mobile. And don't even let me get started on the corners. You can quite literally, literally throw this car into a corner and come out alive. And you feel in control all the time and you're never afraid of it, which is not always a good thing, especially if you have a really heavy foot. The car is small and nimble, but due to the smallness of it, all of the car feels connected and controlled. The car's interior is also pretty comforting. You have a bunch of cubbies, which always comes in handy for a small roadster, particularly for storing your everyday stuff. Now, the lever to pop up the hood is located in the boot, which is actually pretty reasonably sized. When you pop the hood, you can only see the spare wheel, the battery and a few other things, but not the engine. The engine cannot be seen until you actually start to take the car apart, which is one of the quirks. Now the exterior is pretty old school, but I like it. The the color. <laughs> oh, the color is the best damn thing on this car. It's, it's just so dope I could stare at it all day. Most people stare anyway when you drive past them. Now the owner is really fond of this car. He says he'll keep it as long as he can. He actually has a love-hate relationship with this car, but when the top comes off, all of the hate is instantly gone. He also says that the myth of MGs not being reliable is false, since in the three years he owned this car, he has never had any major issues. But he stresses that it should be looked after just like any other car. Well, this brings us to the end. Here's an exhaust note for all you audiophiles. If you want to see more content, please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, we'll see.